2014 was a scary year, and nobody was more scared than our frightened correspondent, Joe Mackey. Let's take a look back at what frightened him the most. Carolina is right in the middle of the East Coast. Uh, should the whole eastern seaboard be on high alert? Uh, I don't think that we should be on high alert because that is my lowest state of readiness. <laughs> <laughs> we need to attack these cannibal fish before they attack people who are stupid enough to swim where cannibal fish live. And in Australia, a nine-foot great white was eaten by a much bigger cannibal great white shark. Joe, so let me get this straight. Not only are they growing in numbers, they are also eating each other. What does this mean? Well, we'll pop the champagne. Sharks are eating sharks, but wait a minute. The enemy of my enemy is my friend. That strategy doesn't work in the Middle East, and it doesn't work in the ocean, Greg. <laughs> are you fearful of rats, or are you more fearful of cannibal rats? I mean, how dangerous can they be? Well, they're pretty dangerous, Greg. I mean, just imagine this. A boat full of cannibal rats where the strongest cannibal rats have survived lands in America, starts breeding with our rats. Now we've got super rats. I think that's how sex works. <laughs> Now in Australia, uh, uh, they had to be called to four different homes in the past month to fight these toilet snakes. Are you using, even bothering to use indoor bathrooms anymore? Uh, I, I very rarely will use an indoor bathroom without pouring bleach in there. <laughs> Let's see how that snake likes bleach. <laughs> they hate bleach, Craig. That's a, uh, they hate bleach. Is the snake community somehow sharing information that toilets are a nice place to hang out? Well, yeah, the snakes know we're complacent. They also know that uh, growing up, uh, there were a lot of pranks where the other kids would say, hey, Joe, come look in the toilet. There's a snake. <laughs> well, guess what? That, that wasn't a snake, Greg. That wasn't a snake. <laughs> so a British woman has learned that the scratching sound she'd heard, been hearing in her head since returning home from a trip to Peru was not an ear infection. Ew. It was maggots. Now, Joe, she got him in Peru. But this could happen anywhere, right? This could happen anywhere, and that's, that's a big problem. Used to be you only had to worry about maggots if you're dead, but apparently they don't always know if you're dead or not. <laughs> that's true. And that's a bit weird. Doctors first tried to flush them with olive oil. Is that even safe? Uh, that's a good idea if you're trying to try out the terrible ideas first. <laughs> this is interesting. A Rhode Island middle school is warning parents about a growing trend of teens snorting or, or smoking Smarties candy. I love how we're showing it how it's used. Joe, is this a gateway drug or a gateway to fun? Well, it's probably a gateway drug, uh, uh, Greg. I mean, most of the people who tried Big League Chew in the 80s are, are dead or in jail. I don't, <laughs> I don't have the stats on that. Does it have to be Smarties? Can you snort other candy? Well, that's the thing, Greg. These kids are obviously not that bright because you don't even have to crush up pixie sticks. <laughs> They're pre-crushed. <laughs> Is this a good thing, though? Instead of killing us, robots could become our sexual entertainment objects. Well, I don't think it's a good thing if they become our sexual entertainment objects. That's kind of creepy. And sure, they start out as strippers, but sooner or later, they ask to be called exotic dancers. <laughs> and, and before you know it, all the people are dead. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> they say dark matter helps keep the Milky Way from spinning apart, but also has the potential to take comets in the outer solar system and hurl them inward, Joe. Is there any uh, way we could build some sort of space net that would catch the asteroid before it hits us? Well, that sounds like a good idea until you consider that what if the space net fails and falls back to Earth? Now we're covered with a net. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is true. Coming up, as we do...